acres and acres of woods that uh, no, nobody ever sees except the unwanted type. And the unwanted types are heroin users and dealers. Neighbors and police have a plan, and it seems to be working. Good evening, everyone. Data doesn't lie. What it reveals can be both shocking but also enlightening. When police showed residents of Mount Washington crime stats, it led to a problem area, historic Stanbury Park and its twisted hiking trails. As Local 12's Deborah Dixon shows us, it's what the park is attracting that is the problem. Stanbury Park is a gathering place for Mount Washington residents with events such as pumpkin chuck in the fall. There are extensive trails here, streams, and acres of woodlands, a good place to hike and hide. So if you look at the overdoses that we've had for heroin overdoses within it, it kind of shows it in the center. This is for the, the, for the year. The data shows an alarming number of heroin overdoses within a quarter mile of Stanbury Park. Crime in the same area is the nuisance kind, thefts, burglaries, what addicts do to get quick money. Just last week, a 24-year-old man was found dead from a heroin overdose right here on the trail. The needle was still in his arm. That data on, the, on his sheets um, is overwhelming and that we need to really take, get back in the park and take control of the park. These people are running us out of the park, and we don't, we don't want that. For three Wednesdays now, a new group called the Stanbury Park Action Committee organized a community event that includes cornhole, sidewalk chalk, and entertainment by a jump rope team. The hope is more people will come to the park and send a powerful message. We're starting small. We realize that. Come on out. Yeah. Please come. Make it your park. That's how I feel. There are more cops around the park, too, some undercover, watching, making buys, and making arrests. Crime is already dropping. So they move to a different area. We can stay on top of them, but we can really restore an area that should be the community, should be a celebration for the community, and that's what we're doing. More police, more citizens in the park, community night. It's about making those who hide along the trails instead of hiking them, too uncomfortable to be there. Deborah Dixon, Local 12 News. The message from police is be aware and be involved. They want residents to closely watch what's going on in the neighborhood and then report it. Residents helped police in recent arrests for a robbery at Walgreens and a purse snatching.